Last week, I shared a video about Citibank announcing that it is now able to convert customers' deposits into digital blockchain-based tokens. Citi says that this isn't a service that you have to sign up for, even if you want to use it. There is nothing you need to do because it's already built into the payment settlement system. For now, Citi rolled out the pilot for its commercial customers only, but it may be safe to assume that since the system and the infrastructure are already in place, digital deposit tokens may soon be launched for non-business consumers. Are there any other US banks that are working on digital assets that would convert your cash deposit into digital money? The answer is yes. The biggest bank in the world, New York-based JP Morgan Chase, has everything ready to go. It is the largest bank in the world by asset size. According to Bloomberg, JP Morgan is exploring private blockchain-based deposit tokens for payment settlement. My understanding is that the digital assets will be similar to blockchain-based cryptocurrency. The difference would be in that cryptocurrency, for example, let's take Bitcoin, is decentralized without one specific owner or a group of owners who are able to exercise control over it. Well, this isn't the case with these private blockchains that are being developed by world's leading banks. First, it was Citigroup, now JP Morgan Chase is letting us know that it's working on launching their version. In the case with large banks, the digital blockchain system is fully 100% controlled by the bank. So effectively, the bank would be able to dictate how, when, and where that cash can be used. These deposit tokens are effectively digital coins. They are fiat, they are not tangible assets. The US dollar is fiat, so effectively you would deposit your paycheck, you would, you would earn your paycheck, it would get deposited into your bank account, and then the bank will allow you to convert it in blockchain intangible assets that are digital coins. This is of course a very simplified explanation uh, of how it works, but in essence, that is the new system. Some of you asked how this is different from wire transfers, and the difference is truly immense. They are completely different. First of all, wire transfers are settled through a third party called ACH, which stands for Automated Clearinghouse. This is the reason why wire transfers take a bit of time. Digital blockchain-based tokens are only used within the scope of that blockchain that they're built on, and they operate based on predefined settings or features that its developers chose to put in place. Citi, JP Morgan, and any other bank that rolls out similar blockchain-based digital payment systems would only do so when the Federal Reserve, our central bank, already has a similar system in place. So that is something to consider as well. Bloomberg is reporting that JP Morgan Chase is in the early stages of exploring a blockchain-based deposit token for speeding up cross-border payment and settlement. As I pointed out before, it is very common to see phrases or words such as speed up cross-border payments or another widely used phrase is digital payments will make banking equitable. These are the same terms that we hear in the context of CBDCs and why they may be good for, uh, for consumers. Here's another thing that I personally find very interesting. JP Morgan is reportedly in the early stages of exploring blockchain-based digital assets while at the same time, it's being reported that the bank has already developed most of the underlying infrastructure and all it has to do to launch it is to get the regulator's approval. The banking industry is extremely heavily regulated in the United States. So to that end, Bloomberg says that the digital asset systems infrastructure would connect to the bank's existing compliance systems so that transactions can go through, know your customer, anti-fraud, and other necessary checks and be part of the company's regulatory reporting. Before we continue, a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, the company you're very well familiar with by now, ExpressVPN. I use it every single day. It is so easy to install. It took me about 15 minutes to set it up. 
ExpressVPN protects your private data and you don't have to worry if someone is trying to collect it or is trying to spy on you. Go ahead and claim your three full months of completely free service when you sign up for the service using the link that I shared in the description below. The process of going fully digital in banking is moving extremely fast. If you've been following my videos for a while, you may recall that every month or two months, there is a new development. As it turns out, JP Morgan has already rolled out its digital tokens in Europe. The bank did exactly the same thing that Citi did. The service JPM Coin was offered to corporations and businesses first. Not only was it launched, it's been very successful in Europe. According to Bloomberg, JP Morgan processed over $300 billion since the system was launched. It was launched not too long ago, so that does appear to be a substantial amount in processed payments. Citi and JP Morgan are not the only American or truly global banks that are after the new technology. Goldman has a digital asset platform in place already, so it is likely that we will soon see the practice of converting cash deposits into blockchain digital assets being used on a wider scale for a wider group of customers. Let me know whether it is something that you would feel comfortable with. If not, what options do you believe bank customers have? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you believe this video is helpful and the information is useful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with those who you think may be interested. Subscribe to my channels on Rumble and YouTube. I would love to see you over on my Rumble channel. And find me on Substack, where among other types of content, you will find a weekly newsletter with the key events and key economic data that will help you stay up to date. And I will see you in my new one tomorrow. Take care.